In this video, we will create a main menu with unlimited number of nodes or subnodes. We will also together create this Excel data entry form and also learn how to transform a normal form to an Excel data entry lookup form. After that, we will also learn how to create advanced Excel data entry forms that can have a master detail structure, for example, where we can create a master orders and details order details or order payments. And all that based on Excel tables in your Excel workbook and without writing a single line of VBA code. But to create these Excel data entry forms, we will need a small tool called Virtual Forms for Excel. You can go and download it from the virtual-forms.com. Before we get started, click on the subscribe button and the notification icon so that you will get notified every time when I release a new video and don't forget to like this video. I have switched to my desktop. Now let's create our first virtual form application. If you didn't, then go to the download page uh, that I send you the link in my first welcome email and download the virtual forms framework project. After that, unpack it to the, for example, desktop. And here you have, we have a few folders. Now let's go and say that whatever we do, we first need to run this VF Setup Beta. This will install two components on our machine, Virtual Form Control and also a Virtual Form Designer. When you run it, you will go to the simple setup and just click yes, next, 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 next. I have already installed it on this machine, so I will not run it again. After you have installed the Virtual Phone Control and the Virtual Phone Designer, both components are installed from the same installation file. So after installation, we will go and open this Excel blank template folder. Here we have two files. We have one Excel file and also one VF file. This VF file is a simple a communication file between Virtual Form Designer and Virtual Form Control. Virtual Form Designer stores the definition files into this VF file and the Virtual Form Control then later use this info, those, this information to know how to show uh, us our forms. So you need to have this VF file always in the same folder where your Excel workbook is. Now let's run this Excel blank template. And as you can see, this Excel blank template contains only one worksheet. To do something, we need to have some data. I will get some sample data from another Excel workbook. Let's minimize this and go to the sample data. Here you have a sample data orders. It is a simple Excel workbook with some tables of data. I will copy this products worksheet, move a copy to the Excel blank template, create a copy, move to the end. OK, this is done. Now we are here in our Excel blank template workbook. We can close for now this sample data orders workbook. And as you can see, now we have two worksheets, main menu worksheet and products. As you know, we need to follow some rules. Let's go minimize this and let's open virtual forms framework. And here are the rules, rules checklist. First rule, every Excel worksheet can contain only one Excel table. Let's see we have only one Excel table. If you don't have a table, you can simply convert your uh, data into table by clicking somewhere on your data and clicking on Control and T. This will convert your data into table. You can see if this is a table 
by looking here that that says table tools or the design tab okay this is the first rule the second rule every excel table needs to have one unique column that can identify each row for example an id numeric field with numbers one two three four and so let's see okay we have this field product id one two three four five six seven eight and so on and the third rule only if we are using excel workbook as our data source each excel table needs to have at least one row of data because the database engine scans these first few rows and it can decide what field or column type is this okay we have some data in our table now let's save our changes and let's create our first virtual form go to the main menu open vf main menu button and this opens this main menu form you can ignore this form this is only a placeholder now let's go to our main menu and click on this button it will open a virtual form designer this is the virtual form designer this is a separate application or a separate component as i have told you when we have installed the virtual forms framework now let's go and create a new form click on this button new form and we need to choose a master table click on this button now we have two sheets main menu and products let's select product and click on the select or you can press enter form caption let's leave it products id field name this is the id field that we have uh, read about in our rules in this table it is a product id okay click on select id type it will automatically add a new value for new rows id field type it is numeric buttons group we will leave this as it is maximize window yes no yes and we can leave this blank save changes yes add columns to grid control our virtual form is made from grid control from edit control and also from on the right side from the buttons group and we want to add columns to our grid control yes all the fields that are in our table are pre-selected let's go and click process three records are added add fields to edit control yes also click on the process okay and now we can see we have our product form that is having a grid control and this con grid control is having these fields and it is having an edit control and this edit control is having these fields we will later explain the relationships how to create the master detail relationships for example orders and order details orders and order payments i will show you this later and this is it we have our form now we can exit the virtual form designer and here on the main menu we need to somehow open our form that we have just created we can do it within the code within the vba code or we can use this main menu to do so let's click on this add new node blank tree view item let's go and right click on it action on double click open a virtual form and let's select these products select change the text of the node to products it asks us if we want to if we want to automatically change this node text blank tree view item to products okay and now we have our virtual form here we double click maximize the window and here you have our form was this so difficult i don't think so okay let's change some value let's change this tofu to for example product 14 
you can do it by clicking on edit or you can do it by clicking somewhere on the edit control product 14 save it yes let's exit and let's take a look if the number 14 has changed to product 14 exit close this go to the products and the 14 where you are 14 product 14 okay now let's go and let's do it so that we have our unit price on two decimals main menu we can do it in a few ways open main menu and let's open our form here you see that we don't have two decimals we need to change it for the edit field and also for the grid field for the edit field the simplest way is on the form right click on the unit price open text box in virtual form designer yes this position us to the unit price field of our edit control and we will say that this field or column is having two decimals okay exit and we will also do this for the unit price in grid control right click on the unit price open grid control in virtual form designer yes and now we have our unit price from the grid control here decimal places let's say two save it exit we can close the virtual form designer and we need to reopen our products and as you can see we have a unit price with two decimals and we also have here in edit control unit price with two decimals was this so hard i don't think so now let's add some more worksheets and also more data i will fast forward this part so i hope that you already know how to copy data from another workbook okay i'm done we can close this sample data workbook and now we have categories products employees shippers orders order details and all the payments now let's create a few more virtual forms or forms however you wanted to call it open the main menu click on the icon to open the virtual form designer and let's add a new form click on the new form let's select master table we will select categories let's select an id field in these categories there is a category id okay select it and let's save it yes add columns to grid control yes we want it all click on process okay add fields to the edit control yes click on the process okay and now we have our categories form grid control with three fields or columns and end control with three fields or columns let's add some more employees okay select the id field name employee id okay save yes add some columns to grid and edit control okay process now we have products categories and employees we will add one more new form master table 
order payments and order details, we will not create forms from these two uh, worksheets, but we will create orders and we will later bound these two worksheets as a relationship. So we don't need forms for these two worksheets. Okay, let's go to orders, select. I will now fast forward this video so that you don't need to watch me how I'm uh, adding a few more forms but the process is the same order id okay okay now that we have products categories employees orders products products we have two times products okay we can remove one delete virtual form products categories employees orders and shippers we can close the virtual form designer and we will add our forms to the main menu. Okay, let's add a new node. Click on the node, right click, action on double click, open a virtual form. What we have, products we already have, categories. Okay, let's add a new node. Action and double click, open a little form, employees. Okay. Also, you can create a node with, with a containing node. Blank tree view. Okay. Action and double click, open a little form. What do we have? Employee orders. Okay, we will call this node also orders. For example, main. <laughs> and here we have orders. Let's add a new node. Right click, action on double click, open a form, and we also have shippers. Select. Okay. Categories, if we start it, maximize the window. Here are our categories we can also filter it only show me category id for example four here we have a filter filter cancel here are all categories and i have told you that i will show you how we can create a master detail forms and also a lookup forms Okay, let's now first create a lookup form. Let's go to the products and let's create a lookup form for the category ID. Right click on the category ID, open text box in Vito Form Designer, yes. We already created a form for our, for our categories. And here we have on the products form, we are in the edit control and in the category ID. Field type. Let's change this from the normal text box to the lookup form. Select. And what we also then here under has opened a few more text boxes. We need to change this show command button view to yes. And also show view text box to yes. Lookup form. We will select our categories form. It has pre-populated lookup table is categories. Okay. Lookup key field is the category ID. Okay. And the lookup view field, we will show a category name. Let's select a category name here. Okay, select and we can save this, save yes, exit the virtual form designer and if we reopen our products, you can see that here we have our category ID that is showing the category name. If we click here, it will open the categories uh, form where we can add a new category, for example, category name new category okay we can with enter we can choose 
this category ID. Let's save the changes. And now you see that the chai product is having a category ID 9. Now you know how to create lookup forms. Now let's let's see how we can create uh, master detail for the orders. We have here the orders. Okay, we can create the customer ID and deploy ID lookup form. But I will show you now how we will create a master detail structure. Let's go into the virtual form designer. Let's click somewhere here, open the virtual form designer. Yes. And here we are at the orders. Here are our orders. We can move this. And here we click on relationships. Right click, add new relationship. Master table orders, master field ID from the master table is the order ID. We will say that the details table is order details. Select and the details master ID. This is the same field, the field that is bounding these two tables, orders and order details. This is the order ID field. Order ID field. Select. Okay, this is okay. Details ID field name. This is the unique field for this uh, worksheet. And it is the order details ID. Let's select this. And let's save it. Okay, add columns to the grid control, yes, process all, okay, add fields to the edit control, yes, process all, okay, and now let's take a look, we can close the virtual form designer, we can reopen our orders, and now you see we have here down under order details order details for this uh, id order id 4 if we click down or if we also can click here on details or f8 shortcut key we will see that we have these details for this order id we can hide this order id so that we don't have so much fields here right click on the order id open text box Okay, we will not remove this field from our uh, forms, but we will hide it. Okay, it, in edit control, order ID, let's say that the visible is no. Okay, let's save it. We can also hide the order detail ID field, this visible to no. Save it, yes. We can also do this in the grid control order ID. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, view. Let's move to zero. And I will leave this order detail ID. Or we can also show the order ID in the grid control. Let's say again 10 characters. Uh, but we will also change while we are here uh, unit price we will say that this need to be two decimals okay discount also two decimals quantity two decimals and the total. You will see there is something with total field. I will not tell I will not tell you yet. We will also do this in the edit control. Unit price we want it to be two decimals. Discount also two decimals. 
quantity two decimals and for the total also show us two decimals okay save it yes and now let's take a look let's exit our orders and let's reopen it here are our orders order details so you can see we only have a product id unit price discount quantity and total oh we can create product id lookup form open this in Intofone designer do you see how this is easy we only just click and tweak some properties so the in the orders, in the relationships, order details, edit control, product ID, we want it to change the field type to the lookup form. Okay. Now let's say yes, say yes. Let's select our lookup form. It is products, products, product ID, and we will show not the product ID, but we will show the product name. Okay. Let's save this. Yes. Let's exit the virtual form designer and let's reopen our orders form. Now we have order details. And as you can see, here we can change or add new products cancel and here is a one thing the totals field or column is if we take a look if we go out from our form where are we order details the total is a formula so we cannot edit a value in this field but let me show you what will happen if we try it open main menu let's open our orders let's go to some order to the order details and if we try now to change for example uh, quantity to 100 and if we save we will get an error cannot update this is because this total field is a formula to to solve this problem simply go right click to total open text box in virtual form designer as you can see we are in our orders in the relationships in edit control and in the total field and we need to change this field enabled to no on save will skip this field in excel this is field this this field contains function calculated expression let's save it okay yes now let's go and reopen our orders form go to the order details and let's try to let's say this quantity to 100 save it yes it has saved the data to the excel workbook excel worksheet and it has refreshed the total so you can see we have our new total yes we can also simply add a new relationship let's say order payments let's go to the orders let's go to the relationship right click on relationship add new relationship select the order payments table order payments here you are select master id this is also an order id and the details id is the order payments id select and let's say this is on a position number 
number two. Okay, save this, yes. Add columns to the grid, process. Okay, add fields to the edit control, yes, process. Okay, exit, exit, open orders. And as you can see, now we have order details and order payments. These are the payments for this order. We can change this to two decimals and also in the grid control, but also we can summarize this payment amount. Let's do that. Right click, open grid control in virtual form designer, yes. And go to the grid control. So orders, relationships, order payments, grid control, and then to the payment amount. And let's say summing to yes. Yes, if we go out, if we exit and reopen our orders, order payments, now we can see we have 14, 10 and 35 is 59. Okay, what can I also show you? Oh, we can reorder this field, move or resize control, reorder control, okay, move or resize. Uh, show field names in the text boxes, okay. And now we can move, for example, this, this field. Let's drag it here. Okay, let's drag this field here. And let's drag this field, for example, here. If we exit and op reopen our orders, you can see this is moved. I think that we should take a break. You see that this is a very powerful tool. So with just a few clicks and with uh, just a few tweaks, we can create a powerful forms that are based on the Excel table.